Well, fights at a Delaware County school have parents and students on edge tonight. The chaos outside of classrooms is becoming an ongoing problem at Chichester High School. Videos of the massive brawls are being shared online. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez live in Boothwind tonight outside of the school with more on what's being done to try and curb the violence among students. Aliana. Rick, good evening to you. I can tell you that just this week, a student, a freshman at Chichester High School was blindsided and violently jumped, all while standing next to a teacher. And parents are growing more frustrated and concerned, not only with the violence, but the negative attention that Chichester High is getting because of it. And tonight, we're taking their concerns to the district. More videos of violent attacks at schools surfacing on social media. This one happened Tuesday at Chichester High School in Delaware County, and now police are reviewing it as part of their investigation. The way that it happened was just, it broke my heart. We caught up with parent Zajay Richardson after this latest incident to see if any changes had been made to improve safety at the school since we last spoke in January. After this brawl prompted the arrest and expulsion of four students. I don't want to talk about what's happening too much longer because it's allowing more of it to occur. She and many other parents tell me the more clicks and likes these videos get on social media, the more it glorifies violence for teenagers, not just at Chichester High, but across the country. This is multifaceted. I know it's not the administration. It's not just the teachers. It's not just the school board. It's all of us. The school district sent this email to parents this morning, urging them to be more proactive. It reads in part, quote, we are also asking for all parents and guardians to assist us by periodically checking the contents of your child's cell phone. Many of the peer issues that occur in schools stem from social media posts, Snapchat groups, and other group message threads. I reached out to the district to see if anything has been done to prevent these fights since we last spoke in January. The district says they've made a number of changes, including exploring security staffing, trying to obtain more mental health support for students, applying for grants to increase student support staff, and holding student-led meetings with the administration to address the violence. And Upper Chichester Police tell me that they have one school resource officer here at Chichester High, along with four security guards on hand every single day. I'm also told that the administrators and staff also monitor behavior in the hallways during those transition periods. Reporting live in Boothwin, Aliana Gomez, Channel 6, Action News. Shari.